so we keep uh, removing all those uh, small uh, imperfections that we we can see I can prove by holding uh, highlighting this button I can see what uh, has to be done and uh, so what has to be removed uh, we have this hair here and um, I think the easiest way would, would be just to remove it by uh, using this um, uh, by using this uh, healing brush I never use spot healing brush because it's not very accurate and uh, it's not uh, very good and uh, I don't think it really works uh, nicely so I'm not gonna use it uh, what I did uh, change uh, now because I've noticed that it's not very good I always go to hardness 100% uh, uh, with the uh, with a healing brush because I think it works uh, much better and it's much uh, much more accurate so here we go always avoid try to avoid uh, uh, patterns and never never ever forever show them so uh, let's see how it was it's gone uh, this part is uh, gonna be very boring because what I will do what I, I, I will just uh, what I will just do is just to remove all those uh, bits and pieces so if you yeah, bored. Just skip this part and um, and start watching the um, next one. But if you want to see what uh, I'm keeping and uh, removing, it's uh, it's completely up to you. And uh, some people like it, some people don't. And as you can see, we uh, go really um, deep into. Oops! 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 Uh, into details there uh, we can see uh, almost pixel by pixel and uh, as those facial uh, hair here uh, are acceptable and uh, but uh, those under nose and over the lips uh, they never are. Uh, we just don't like to see moustaches and uh, especially with models and uh, we just like to remove them. I uh, just removed this wrinkle over here as you can see I'm going really with the small strokes and uh, and tiny here we go we just keep removing those small imperfections just tiny bits and uh, with uh, this moustache here it's, um, it's difficult here we have as well they don't look right we don't want to keep them and uh, Yes, of course, I agree, they are natural, but we don't want to see this uh, in our photos, especially when we photograph beauty and uh, everything has to be spotless and, and still visible. Uh, so that's what, what we will do. We just keep, um, keep those details uh, there. We can uh, accept uh, some hair on the this because they are natural. And uh, here we have a uh, we have a uh, quite a huge uh, quite quite a big uh, spot that we want to remove, and um, we just go step by step and slowly uh, keep removing. I'm taking from different parts. Always work with the same uh, colors and always think uh, about the shape. I know that uh, you may get bored uh, with seeing me doing this 
but uh, unfortunately that uh, that is retouching it it's not all lovely and uh, very interesting and um, it's just being bored I cannot sing, I cannot uh, play music, uh, I cannot say jokes because I'm really rubbish at that mm, and um, here we go, so we have this upper lip that it's a little bit uh, different in the color, let's keep it this way and the lips that are uh, always dry uh, in the beauty photography we try to uh, avoid this effect uh, and because dry lips they don't, don't look very healthy and uh, and very interesting so we always try to avoid and if you don't uh, don't give enough water uh, to your model uh, then you end up with uh, with a lot of uh, retouching and uh, and post production later on the lips oops so you can see I'm uh, very bored with uh, with all that, so I'm jumping from part to part, and uh, maybe it's not the best way, but it's always worth trying something different. Uh, let's remove this hair. We want to have a spotless picture that uh, the way it was planned and very very clear as well. So let's remove that and uh, this part over here. Uh, so it's quite a lot of uh, of retouching and uh, and uh, here we go. This chin uh, it's not in the best condition. See, there is a, a quite a big progress, but um, it's still a long way to go. Usually, with a with a picture like that, it's um, seven hours at least of plain and um, to 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 high end retouch. Uh, but uh, here we we just uh, go with. Uh, With retouch that will look good and uh, and natural, uh, but uh, still it's quite quick. Um, so you can spend some time if you if you're less patient and you don't have a lot of hours and you don't want to spend a lot of hours. You can get uh, quite nice results and um, and do quite well and uh, by doing this type of retouching. Someone has a some option. Okay. Like I said, it's always better to give uh, your model something to drink uh, instead of uh, retouching uh, later and uh, struggling with the uh, with the lips. Okay, so let's zoom in uh, and let's uh, remove those hair that we have here. So you can see I'm, I'm taking from different parts to avoid the pattern. Always, always avoid the pattern and never show that you can you did something with the with the photo here. Yeah, uh, the final effect will be acceptable, and uh, especially for internet uh, use. But remember, this is not uh, high-end uh, retouch. That it's the most uh, advanced one. But it's still good to to start with and um, learn new techniques, and maybe a few new tricks, or just 
nice way of spending time and uh, to look at, uh, at someone's uh, retouch. Usually what I do is just listen to music when I do that, um, but I cannot play you anything, sorry. I can spend hours doing this, hours and hours, I just for for the purpose of this video uh, I have to stop every 15 minutes and um, and uh, to, to do that and here when we get to the corners as you can see this tool doesn't work at all we it's it struggles because it doesn't understand uh, what I want to remove so I have to go to clone stamp and here I go to hardness uh, always uh, the lowest possible so it's uh, zero percent in this condition and I just paint over oops a little bit too far I just paint over over the over the space that I want to uh, get done I'm not gonna if I go to to hard with, with this tool um, I end up with uh, with really uh, with really strong uh, lines and I want to avoid that and uh, as you can see I overpaint later uh, on the top of of, uh, of clone stamp with uh, with uh, oops a little bit too far Uh, with the uh, healing brush so it looks more natural and always avoid the pattern okay so looks okay and here we go to another nostril let's see how far we can push with this tool okay not too far so we just keep removing. 